everyone and welcome. I'm Diane and my passion is painting and creating in my studio. Every day I share a video with you on YouTube in which I paint and create all sorts of nature inspired pictures. I also share loads of tips on how to make the most of your painting journey, interrupted fairly frequently by our family of dogs, cats, chickens and sheep. So welcome on board, click subscribe and turn on notifications and let's learn to paint watercolour. So here we are, we've got the two lemons that we've drawn as practice and we've painted them out in four different yellows. We've got transparent yellow, quinacridone gold, lemon yellow and um, basically a cadmium yellow. And then also we are going to use the cobalt blue which we used for the shadow. We've got olive green here and also sap green. And uh, those are all the colours that we're going to use to do the painting of the olive branch, uh, sorry, uh, lemon branch that we have here, which I have now drawn out onto a piece of paper. And a sketch will be available for you on our website at dianeanton.com if you want to go and uh, borrow that, that would be great. So I'm using a couple of round brushes here, draw well brushes, my uh, Japanese brushes, which you can also purchase if you contact them direct. And there's information in the description below about how to go about getting in touch with them. Um, so they come from Japan, that's a size seven and a size 11, but any two would do really. And, and I've got all my paints here, so, and a piece of, um, towel there to dab my paintbrush on when I need to. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, start with a lemon yellow for the lemons. It seems only logical, doesn't it? Um, but we will be building up the colours with other shades of yellow. So we'll just put yellow in first of all on all these lemons um, just to give them a start in life and bring them into existence. So lemon yellow first of all, for all of them. There's more than one way of painting this picture, of course, and uh, this is just one way. I could have wet all of the lemons first of all and then dropped the paint in into a wet surface, um, but I just decided today I'm going to do it this way. And I'm not worried too much about staying inside the lines, um, just kind of generally indicating the yellowness there. So now I'm going to pick up some transparent yellow, which is a more orangey shade. And I'm deciding the light is coming from the right hand side of the picture. So the darker side is going to be on this uh, side. So that's where we're going to concentrate the um, the darker yellow is going to be on the side away from the light. And then when there's one like this one down here, which is behind, that's going to be dark altogether. Okay, so that's, that's where we're starting off. Let's put this a little bit more. And then, so that's transparent yellow. And now darker still is the quinacridone gold. So now we're going to come in with some quinacridone on top of that. And the key here is patience and non-interference. So you're just making sure you've got a lemon shape, obviously, but you're not going to be too picky about where the paint goes because we're going to let that do its thing. So now um, for the leaves, we will use a combination of olive green and lemon yellow, let's say, first of all. So we'll, uh, starting at the top, starting with the point of the leaf and we'll just drop in the color like that. Then you change the color, mix something else in to make each leaf slightly different. Maybe we'll go to the blue, 
add a little bit of blue to the green to make a dark green altogether. And we might put some of that in there. And there. Now we bring the bluey green down here, let's say. Now we go back to the orangey green, just making sure that you never use the same color twice. And if and when you look at an olive tree, lemon tree, guess what we're going to be doing next? <laughs> uh, then you'll notice this amazing variety of colors from the light, from the sun reflecting on the leaves. And the leaves can be really beautiful in their variety. Also, the stems, which are going to be running behind here. Don't use too small a brush. And then you can get really good leaf shapes if you use a fairly big brush. And by using fairly strong colors, you can make the brightness of the, whoops, that was not meant to happen. So we'll just touch that out there. You can make the, uh, the lemon really stand out by using dark colors behind it. I find that cobalt blue and um, quinacridone gold make some amazing um, mixture greens. And also transparent yellow as well. So once we've got the, the bulk of the leaves in, and I'm trying to be a little bit careful because I don't want the greens to run into the yellow, because that would spoil it. That's the only thing you need to take into consideration. The main thing, I don't want to do that one there because I'm afraid it's going to run into all of those lemons there. And that wouldn't be a good thing. Let's see if I can get this one in here. Okay, so then I'm going to really darken up um, 
deeper green. Plenty of color, plenty of quinacridone, plenty of cobalt blue. And I'm just going to put some areas of darker color in so that it can just bleed. And give me some variety. And then I will go away, have a cup of tea, and wait for it to dry before we do the next step. The next step is to come in with some brighter lemon. This is um, cadmium yellow. And just go over the dry lemons. They're now completely dry. So we're just going to go over with another layer of yellow just to bring the color out really, really strongly. And then we'll have to let that dry again. And then we'll bring in some greenish tones to make the shadows around the, the pointy bits at each end, around here. But for the time being, we're just really intensifying the yellows. And what's underneath is going to show through because these colors are transparent or semi-transparent at least, at the very least. But in some places, you might want to add a little bit more yellow to some of the leaves also. So that's up to you if you feel that they've gone a bit on the blue side and you would prefer them to be yellow, just, just add, or if you want them to go even yellower still, just add a little bit more of the yellow over the top. So now we let that dry, or we can put the hair dryer on it. So we want to um, just give some dark, a few dark areas, which uh, we'll soften up. So we'll just pop this in with quinacridone gold, and then we'll make sure that the lines are soft. So just with a clean brush. Except you just want a little bit of form there. And also underneath that part of the lemon and maybe here maybe here so you're working on trying to give them some some shape but not well my style is not to be too obsessed with uh, three-dimensionality but you might feel that you want to do more Okay, now, um, sometimes when you get to this point in a painting, you feel the urge to come in with pen and to do some outlining of the leaves to give it more shape. And that's a good idea. But another way you can do it is to use paint. And you just mix up a very strong green, for example. And where you feel that you need to, you can outline the leaves like this using your brush in a kind of calligraphic sort of way so drawing lines trying to be as what's the word casual about it as you can a little bit tricky when you're doing this on camera because you can bet your life if it's going to go wrong it'll go wrong when you're filming it but I expect you get the message, you get the gist. So the point in doing this is to give yourself some freedom from the pen, because it's true to say that when you add pen strokes, you have moved away from watercolor. So, but you can do the same kind of thing using the brush. 
and as well you're going to come in behind and darken down those leaves to make the lemons stand out. And you can carry on in that vein for as long as you like or as long as you feel you need to. So I will finish that off and then I'll show you what it looks like at the end. So that's the final painting. I hope you enjoyed watching me do that and I hope you give it a go. You'll enjoy working with just yellow and uh, practicing getting the shadows um, in place on these wonderful, bright, cheerful summer fruits. So if you enjoyed that, please give me a like and subscribe and turn on notifications so that you never get to miss a thing. And as I said before, the sketch will be up on the website. If you want to go over to dianeanton.com and take a look on there, you can download it for free, no charge, absolutely gratis. So I'll say goodbye for now. And tomorrow I will be back with another painting, which I hope will fill your life with just a little bit of sunshine. So bye for now, everybody, and see you again soon. Bye bye.